Hello there, welcome back to um, my channel. So this is part two where we're going to look at the actual Moon Diary for 2022, the year coming. Um, and I do have the 2021 or this current year's um, here just for comparison, just to show you. And if you wanted to purchase anything, you need to pop along to the flickeringcauldron.com or if you're not in the UK, then if you go to their Etsy shop, so go to Etsy and type in the Flickering Cauldron, you should be able to get it from there. I'm sure you can purchase via the website as well, but um, the Etsy shop is the easiest if you are not UK based for purchasing. So as you have may have gathered or may not have gathered, this has been a firm favourite in my year. Now I purchased these tags and I've put them on just for ease so I can find my way through the months as I've gone through and this has become my tarot diary so it's been very well used I've written in it I've done my daily draws in here you get like information about the moon the planets um the alignments so it really is um moon based with some extra tidbits to keep you going this is because my dog damaged badly <laughs> so they don't come with this tatty this is because my I have a dog who is just a pain in the bottom when she wants to be they come with a nice, clean, wipeable, so when I have dropped this in some tea that's been there, it's fine. I can just clean it off and wipe it, but for the sake of doing the video, I've turned the shiny surfaces around. And it is just jam-packed. It is stuffed. Um, and for the value for money, amazing. So this is the 2022, 20, uh, sorry, 2021, and the 2022 is about the same thickness for comparison, so you can see. Um, obviously this one's been beaten up so as with anything, think when you use it it fans out a bit more so you get a good idea of what's going on and last year to mention they did the celtic moon diary um with the elder food arc runes in here and um, there's some spreads for casting your runes so there's like a little book if you want your own like reference guide for the runes in the back and it's based on the tree calendar rather than the um months as we know them so it starts at different points for this one so you, if you wanted to get tabs to put well they're not they haven't repeated this one but this one i couldn't get tabs to mark up um, i'd have to get blank tabs so i could just write on them so um that's how i use that one and the other thing that they've brought out, which is available still, is the Witch's Companion. So if I don't mention this, it would be um, silly of me, which is one of my favourites. Absolutely one of my favourites. Um, so the Flickering Cauldron is Letty Colville and Chris Knowles. And they just create, I mean, they're not... Um, ...professing to know everything, but they just give you a really nice jumping off starting point with pretty artwork who doesn't want pretty artwork that i don't know about you but for me i can't pick up a book and read it if it's just solid text and reference i, I need art to inspire to help me remember what i'm looking at so this has got like it's a little workbook it's got places where you can write in it you can add your own notes to what they talk about they give you the basics the wardings and things um there you go look so i was um wanting to know about working with the day of mercury and just you know nice easy book to use and then i'm hoping because it says volume one so i am hoping there's a volume two coming so i like that a lot that's the one that kind of goes around with me as well so to what we should be talking about the moon diary this one gorgeous they apologize in advance for any typos that happens because you know they're only human. The diaries, as always, have so you can see at a glance where your full moons and your new moons or dark moons, depending on how you want to call them, sit. You have your monthly dates for the moon, so you have your new moon and your full moon there again at a glance. And they do time zones. So if we just zoom in a little bit here. So they do time zones and Jenna. If you're watching, this fits in that diary, that traveller's notebook. 
depending on what else you want to fit in there but yeah so there's your time zone so you can adjust your moons tells you what to do to adjust for the moons in your areas and they've repeated again the moon phases for us um different artwork this year really pretty i mean you, oh yeah you could just sit and read this for an age really there we have our planets the influences of the planets correspondences there you go look pluto god of the underworld that tells you about the influence if you wanted to use it for spell casting so for change achievement and protection really nice touches you've got your shadow elements this year of the star star signs yeah astrological signs um i love this talking about air signs so the element of these gifted signs as you already knew is air um but yeah the gifted signs are air because i'm an air sign made me chuckle um we've got turning points of the seasons and this book has um so we're, i'm going to call them familiars so um, we're talking about the goddess cat Bassett. And then as we start the actual diary, we start with cats. So the cats are given a name. So this cat's been called Obsidian. You have herb for the month as well. And it does do a little bit of gemstones. We have some planetary um, stone correspondences as well. So like lapis lazuli. We have um, feathers and colours. So in the previous diary, I'll just grab it. So this year's 2021, we had owls and feathers and then some gemstones and um every so often there was also a color correspondence or a candle um well that was just because i kept referring back to the candles but yeah so that was how it went for last year so we got the cats and the herbs and your color so the color is black hence the reason why the cat's called obsidian um, on this one, we have some planetary hours and days of the nights. We have the um, weeks there. We have the elements. So if you're wanting to work with those, you've got it. Uh, we have a nice thing on Basil. So it talks about the gender, the element, the planet, other names, deities, magical properties, healing and magical uses. And then the diary starts. And as you can see, each one is beautifully put together. It tells you where your um, what your moon is doing and you have a visual for each one as well. It tells us um, when the sun rises and the moon rises. Uh, this one here. So this one tells us that the earth will be closest to the sun at this on this Sunday at 6.45 a.m. So there's nice little bits of information there. We know that this is New Year's Day. So we've got a little, it's just a nod to it there. It tells us we've got something on the super new moon for January and information. And then we just go through the month, as you can see. Um, we have a bit there on the wolf full moon. Moony facts. <laughs> Magical moony. <laughs> uh, the full moon, uh, some recipe information. How to make your recipe. Some cat facts. So let's pause for a moment. And then you've got some notes here, so you can make notes for your new moon, your full moon, and then other notes as well there, so you want to make spell notes. So I'm going to say this year it's even more of a workbook than perhaps last year, or last year was just me getting used to working with this sort of stuff. Um, and this year, instantly I can see what, we do, what we're up to. So we have Aquarius, we have Sage, we have information because we have Inbulk, there's our correspondences for Inbulk. February new moon, so we'll just go through a bit quicker now as we go through. Snow moon, we've got magical storm information. And there's your notes pages into March. Here we go with thyme and willow. So the colours are blue, pink and indigo. Information on the March new moon, bath salts, rituals, wormwood, uh, wormwood, the worm moon. There's Ostara information here. Some correspondences for Ostara. So it really is a kind of witchy moon working companion, actually, um, and fits beautifully with that companion book one that I've got. So Aries. There's our 
pink moon pages. Some fairy magic. And then some May Beltane coming up. Mint. I do love mint tea. There we go. That's our Beltane pages. Correspondences. There's our Maypole. This part of the world still does May, well, did until lockdown. Maypole dancing, Mayfairs, May, like Crowning of the May Queens. Information on cats. There's our flower moon, the new moon, and a recipe for uh, moon tea. Fantastic. Might give that a go. Fire magic, so we've got June. Skullcap. <laughs> Rebus and Loki. <laughs> Oh, makes me chuckle. And we have the full moon. More familiars. Information on Letha. In June. Letha correspondences. We have some more information there. We have hyssop and scampers. For July, as our waxing moon oil. I like the fact they've got oils and things to do. So it's almost like a, ma yeah, it, I've already said it. It's a magical correspondence is working alongside it. So you can either just use it as a diary or you can do your um, kind of witchcraft with it. And it doesn't have to be witchcraft, you know, making oils and things. There's plenty of um, aromatherapists who like to work with oils for all sorts of reasons. So you can use the prompts to make your own oils for your apothecaries, aromatherapies. You don't have to follow the sabbats that are in here but the kind of other little things that you can do just really taking time out moments to treat yourself aren't they magical moments mindfulness <laughs> always be respectful when working with the elements new moon cleansing bath ritual um, how to make a knot spell Witch Hazel, here we have the Magical Creatures of September, we have the Mermaids, Unicorns, Murph, yep, Kraken, Banshees, Dragons, the Autumn Equinox, which is where we are currently at this time of year here in 2021, fast approaching the end of September, heading into October, can't wait. Check out my videos on my tarot and oracle decks if you haven't, that I like to use in these months. Um, and the hashtag, I think, spooky decks, spooky season decks, might be. So we have our blood full moon. The witch's broom, more besom. Banishing spell. Oh, there's that picture. It's just beautiful. I really like it. Um, something about the colours of this time of year, isn't there? The oranges. I like orange, so the seeing all the oranges everywhere, um, really standing out next against all the other starker colour, uh, less bright, vibrant colours. And then November. Ooh, we're doing. And here we are, Sagittarius, the month of Yule. And there it is, Yule Tide for December. Some of their beautiful artwork. That one's got to make it onto a Christmas card, doesn't it? Yule Tide card, Season's Greetings card. Here we have our Winter Solstice. And all your correspondences there. Lovely, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then, okay, so coming in September 2021, so that's this month. Um, it might actually have been released yesterday. Yesterday was the 28th of September, is the Egyptian Moon Diary. This is in place of the Celtic one. It was advertised last year, so we knew it was coming for those that want to put themselves on the early wait list for it because they sell out so quickly because they're beautiful. I don't have this one. I'm not, you know, I don't know much about the Egyptian pantheon, to be quite fair, but it does tell you an awful lot of stuff about it. Um, 
you've got the Egyptian zodiac. It's a three full 365 day diary, as you'd expect, just like this one. It's based again in the um, UK GMT BST time. Consists of so there's what you have in there, which is pretty similar to what we've got already. And then specifically for the Egyptian diary, there we have the Egyptian zodiac, which I really am not familiar with. History of Egypt, um, Egypt's dynasties, Valley of the Kings, Giza pyramids, Saqqara, Saqqara, Luxor, gods of Egypt, Suar oasis, mummifying, history of the Nile, Book of the Dead, hieroglyphics, lost golden city, Cairo museum, tomb of 1000 mummies, Karnak, Abu, symbol, Abydos, Temple of Alexandria, Queen Net, Aswan, and an awful lot more. Um, so short of watching TV, Indiana Jones, <laughs> that's where my uh, knowledge sort of finishes. I know I used to love Egyptian um, stuff when I was a child. And as I'm now delving back into my loves of life, I, it might be something I pick up in the future. So their Christmas cards are coming out for the wait list to get onto that is in October. So watch out. That's going to be early October, I'd imagine, to get onto the list for those. So again, make sure you um, head on over. The wall calendar, beautiful. Recommend it if you're a calendar person. And of course, while you're there, why not pick up the Witch's Companion? So there we go. And we have an overview of the following year to come. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that's given you a really good um, look through the diary. And I will see you in the next one. Um, I have got a full walkthrough of The Witch's Companion if you haven't seen it. So you can, um, I'll link it down below or upstairs. So you can have a look at that one if you want to see what's in there. And um, let me know. What's your favourite diary to work with? And what are your thoughts on these? Are these more pretty? Is that the right word? More easy on the eye, more attractive than other ones? Because I've found other ones to be a bit plain. And this is by far my most favourite and visual and fun. So yeah, guess what? I will be going on their wait list for next year's too. I'll see you in the next one anyway. Take care. Bye bye.